Hey, my name is Ben Alder. Welcome to Songwriting Fridays. So the aim of this these videos and this channel is to give me some accountability in my creativity process. I want to write a song as as often as I can every single week. That's the goal for me this year, is to try and make music uh, on a regular basis, to push myself as a songwriter, to challenge myself creativity in terms of creativity. Um, but I hope that in the process of sharing what my experience has been like uh, in writing music, uh, that, that it would demystify the process for you and, and hopefully make you feel like you can either start songwriting for the first time or maybe dust off the, the, the piano and those, uh, those notebooks with all your old songs in and, and start again, or maybe just give you something new to work with that you hadn't tried before. And the, so for me, whether I finish a song or not, whether it's good or not, I'm going to share what I've got with you and, and kind of pull the curtain back on my process a little bit. Um, I've been writing music for, for a couple of decades now, and although and I got stuff on Spotify and Apple Music and, and all the rest, but that doesn't mean I'm, that I, every time I sit down to write something that is good um, or, or that I'm even completely happy with it. Um, but we, by writing regularly, consistently, uh, we develop as musicians, we develop our craft as songwriters, and, and, and step by step we get better. Um, and we, we figure out what works, um, what doesn't work. So that's the idea. Um, last week's song, uh, 45, uh, was a bit of a political number because uh, I, I write alternative rock. And for me, pro uh, protest songs come out. I'd, I'd been watching the news a lot uh, when I wrote it. Um, this particular song for this week is a bit more personal. So, so this song, you, well, songwriting for me is quite often a cathartic process. It's about getting, but processing what I'm feeling, uh, getting some of the, the darker stuff aside of those things, the, the sadness, the, um, the anger, the frustration, the disappointment. It's about working through that stuff and getting it outside of me so that I don't have to live with it 24-7 uh, on the inside and uh, where it can fester and all that kind of stuff. And I, and I think songwriting is like that for a lot of people. Um, sadly, this month we've had some really tragic news in, in my family. Um, both my gran and my granddad died in recent weeks. Um, and, and so that inevitably became the, the stuff that I was doing thinking about and dwelling on in my mind, uh, in my heart, of course. So that inevitably came out in, in my songwriting. Um, it's not what I, what I set out to write that week, um, but it's what I ended up writing about. Um, so, so as a result of that, a lot of the, the poetry is really rooted in uh, their lives, my experience of them. Um, and that would be one of my tips to you as, as songwriters too. Like sometimes if you don't know what to write about, uh, write about what you know. That's the, one of the classic kind of songwriting, writing 101 tips is to write about what you know, what you've, what you've observed, what you've experienced, what you've heard people say. Uh, and in this particular song, the poetry is really full of um, references to, to, to my experiences with my grandparents, things they've said. Uh, in particular, this song, My Gran, because, because I wrote this specifically with her in mind. Um, so there's a lot of references to, to her, my experience of her, and, and also to the, the last moments of her life, those, the last conversations that I had with her um, 
in, kind of in person a year ago on the phone before she passed away. Um, structurally and musically, the song is a bit different for me. Um, there's there's no chorus. It's just straightforward verses. Um, it's not particularly complicated in terms of uh, the music. Uh, the chords are really simple. There's just just four chords. Um, the only thing that's a little bit unusual maybe is a non-diatonic chord. So that's a chord that's not kind of natively in the key of the song itself. Um, so the chords are A minor, C, and a D minor. But then at the end, there's a F minor. Um, which is not naturally in the, well, it's not in the same key as the rest of the song. Um, I put it in there on purpose for, to create a sense of, um, like a lack of resolution, a bit of instability, because, because I was kind of feeling a little, a little raw and, uh, and I wanted something in the music to reflect that sort of, um, I guess like to create a sense of uh, dissonance, like when I'm not into, I'm not happy about this situation at all. And, and in that moment, th th there was nothing that could happen to resolve that. Uh, so there was this single chord that doesn't resolve really anywhere. Um, but the melody, the only other thing to say about it, the melody came from the picking, um, This pattern just kind of continues throughout the whole song. And that, that really informed the melody um, and how the words would scan and where the, where the rhythm of the lyrics would fall. Um, so the other tip there would be just to encourage you guys to, um, is simple songs are fine. There's nothing wrong. Songs don't have to be crazy complicated. Uh, there'll be other other weeks, other videos where I'm sure I'll use more complicated chord structures and different different chords that are a little unusual. Um, I'm almost certainly going to do that. But but songs don't have to be. They can sometimes the most powerful and mo most moving, engaging songs are, are really simple ones. Um, so don't be afraid to to take simple chord structures and maybe just do a little bit. A, something a little bit unusual maybe with the, the picking picking a chord rather than just straight up strumming a chord um, that that alone can really bring uh, a sense of um, some some interesting dynamics to a, to a song that that catches a listener's ear uh, so that's all the talking uh, the the song is about to come up um, now for you um, I, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at Ben Alder Music. Uh, give me if you like the video, give it a like. Follow me if you if you're a songwriter and you're interested in getting more tips um, in the coming weeks. Uh, I think next week I'm going to do um, maybe something a little bit more technical around chords and that kind of stuff. Um, and then at the end of the month, I've got a I've got a release coming out, so I'll probably just have something connected to that. Uh, so without further ado, here's Primrose. Thank mm -hmm. you.
mistake, how you been? Better make it quick, far apart But you left your mark, generous The last words were love The last words were love